So ladies and gentlemen, the situation we have tonight is my very good friend John is basically here in Jaywick and I never knew he was coming. So I need one of my good friends to lend me a caravan or a room for one night. Because tomorrow we're going to go to the library and book you your flight out of here, aren't we? So we just need to find you a bed for tonight. So you're not going to be a problem, are you? No. You stayed with me for a week, you weren't a problem, was you? No, no. The only reason he can't stay with me now is because um, he upset someone in my house and they said he can't come back. But um, it doesn't look very good, does it? Me asking for somewhere for him to stay and like, he can't. John, can you explain why you need somewhere for one night? Uh, I am going back to Corn if I can contact my wife by phone. I have no phone or email. I would uh, like to uh, just use somebody's phone and find a place to crash, even if it's just a blanket and a cover, you know, somewhere out of the range just for the evening and then. Uh, I'm hoping that Danny can assist me to get a new e-ticket tomorrow and see what my chances are of getting the, the flight rebooked to fly back to Kelowna, what my wife's plans are this week, tomorrow, and by the time I get home, and if uh, we can maintain our relationship and uh, do sign my card for her on, you know, before we go. Yes, I will, no problem. Up. So John's trying to get back to Cologne in Germany, and he's going he's to try and book a ticket tomorrow. But we need somewhere for John to stay tonight because he can't stay at my house because he's upset the woman in my house. So we do need a place for John for tonight. Can anyone lend me a caravan or a room for tonight? Shine on. Thank you very much. Is that all right, John? Yes, perfectly all right. Thank you very much. And for the other wide knocking, I'll see if the plans fail to maybe get a wide dinner between the two of us in Gabrielle or maybe one of her friends like Ann and come back sometime maybe in the summer and have, or uh, maybe that's too long, come back and have that, at that one bar up and clock and have some dinner. It looked like a nice buffet. It was a very nice restaurant I seen today. And I thought it'd be wonderful to book some reservations there or maybe have some kind of dialogue there with all of us in hand. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are just, Donna, what are you laughing? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a room for the night. And you can see the problem we got here. We just need someone with compassion to help us give John a room for the night because if the worst comes to the worst, we're going to have to hire a hotel. But I'm just trying to save money. There must be someone out there that wants to meet John for the night. John, what can you say to anyone that hasn't met you? How will you be if you're around the house? Uh, I will be quite quiet about everything. Uh, I, cannot, I can afford my own coat, but not my own knitting. Any warm blanket would be nice for any situation, and I may take my shoes off. Lovely. We're going to work that out, John. You take care, all right? So if anyone can help me, please get in contact with me. Thank you very much and shine on because we are the sort of people that don't let people down, do not give up on people and we will make sure someone has a bed tonight. Shine on. Amen. Thank you.